What are you doing? Um, what's up? <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reactions Eat It. I'm Corbin. And I am Zach. And uh, if you don't know, Zach is uh, my best friend from... No, uh, if you don't know me, then stop yeah, asking. Yeah, just stop asking, oh. idiots. Yeah, you, know, you, you know me or you don't know me. Um, and he, without my asking, decided right after Three Idiots he wanted to watch PK. Um, so he has the now Amir Khan fever, uh, which is different from the COVID fever that he had, right, Zach? Yeah, this one didn't less try to pain. Kill me. Yeah, less painful, yes. less uh, less tiring for sure. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, if you haven't seen Rick and I's original review of PK, obviously we did it almost three years ago now, uh, so you can go back and check that out. But Zach watched PK from uh, what year was it? Twenty fourteen. Was it twenty sixteen? Was it? I think it was fourteen. Hmm. Was it that recent? Oh, yeah, it was, wasn't it? Seven years ago. Um, but yes, it's uh, directed by uh, Raj Kumar Hirani, uh, the same director as Three Idiots, uh, written by him as well, starring PK and um, starring PK Anushka Sharma as well uh, as as the girl. Uh, and then, oh, no, was he really in this? Like you said, wow, I completely forgot that. Sushant Singh Rajput. I didn't, what was he in this? I to remember. Who is that? that? He famously um, passed away a little, over, a little over a year ago at like 30, 30 something. Oh, man. Uh, and it, he was like at the height of his uh, career. He was doing great films. He's, a re- he's actually a really, really talented actor. I just, we watched this so soon, we did not know who he was when we first watched this. Right, right, and right. And so it was. Um, I didn't realize he was in this. And also there's uh, Rand Beer is in this, but he's alien number two uh, in this. <laughs> he's a big star as well. But um, And he just was at the very end. Yes, yes. Uh, and this is 100 Spence War Review. You've all seen this film. So if you haven't watched it, go watch it. Come back. Rit, uh, not Rit, once again, God damn it. <laughs> this is, I've been doing this for like three years, so it's like just have it now. You usually um, just... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Zach, your initial thoughts of PK? I freaking loved it. Did you like, like it more than Three Idiots? I did. I did. Okay. Uh, and I just looked at the synopsis, and I've heard you told me to watch PK. Other yeah. people have given me on this on this channel have re- uh, said to watch PK. Didn't know anything about it. I read the synopsis, and all I saw was alien and religion, basically. And I was like, okay, yeah, uh, I'm I'm in. Um, I love alien movies mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, kind love of Christian yeah, movies so, too, you know. but, <laughs> no, not at all, but except book of Eli is my favorite Christian movie, but we'll talk about that later. Um, but, uh, come up with a religious background and, and all that stuff kind of, uh, uh, piques my interest. And so I, I loved it. I loved it so much. I thought, and I didn't really go in saying, Oh, I really liked him in three idiots. So I want to watch this. It was just like, oh, another movie that he's in, and I like the synopsis. This really made me appreciate his acting and his just him being a, just a character actor for the most yeah. part. How how different it is from how just different three, and, three idiots it was, and that it's the same director. Mm-hmm. Um, there were some things that made me like after a while watching, I was like, well, they kind of did that in three idiots. Mm-hmm. Let me see if it's, but it it, it just seemed. I mean, it was older, seemed cleaner, seemed, mm-hmm. I mean, there was some over the top stuff, but not too, not too bad. And it jumped right in and the CGI for what it was, was actually pretty good for yeah. the, the beginning shot was beautiful. I don't know if you remember. Yeah. It was, it was a beautiful shot. And then the, the, um, UFOs, uh, spaceships. Um, so obviously my favorite part of this, uh, we'll get to all these. Was when he had no shirt on. Yes, naked. exactly. That's my he's, he's ripped. ripped. Oh, so good. He's like deceivingly ripped. Like he, yeah, you wouldn't, you was... wouldn't think like he's that. And he had a shirt off for three idiots. And I even said, like, ah, he looked better ripped. He would look better ripped is what I had in my mind. He's like, he looks like he should be ripped. And this one, I was like, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. was the, the whole concept of the film itself of not like basically taking all the world religions, this guy who's an alien, not from here, trying to figure out 
what uh, what is going on what are what are what is the right one what and then he kind of just gets hit in the face with the hypocrisy of them and 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 all that kind of stuff so yeah what do you think about the whole uh, no i thought it was a beautiful way to do that um mm-hmm. i think this is how kind of uh Religious movies should be. I mean, a lot of the Christian movies we grew up in, I've seen only a few uh, un- uh, forced. Uh, um, uh, it, it's it's heavy handed. It's preachy, and it's also terrible acting, and and just really. Kirk Cameron, greatest actor of all time. <laughs> just not good movies. This it was. They had a very heavy, especially for that culture too, as far mm-hmm. as I know. But a very heavy um, source material. I mean, mm-hmm. that's what I say. And they took it and made it very innocent and very uh, just like question it. Very, it reminds me of my four year old who went on five who asks all these questions and is is still new to the world, still trying to figure out things. And that's what this reminds me. It was like a, he was like a grown baby, mm-hmm. a grown uh, toddler trying to, you know, grasp everything real fast. And he didn't have a parent to kind of like slowly teach him. He had to just figure it out. And then just the way they're like, Hey, where's God? I've asked God these questions and he hasn't given it to me or, you know, I need a refund because I asked him for something. I gave him money and he hasn't given me back. And just this very, he's very logical, which is very a kid thing mm-hmm. to point of view. And then just all the way to the end with the um, wrong number and realizing he, and how innocent he was, he didn't blame people. You know, he didn't go straight to kind of like how we would is like, you know, it's the people that are the issue. You know, the people are the problem. It's he's like, no, it has to be someone pranking. <laughs> it has mm-hmm. to be another God messing with them. Because if God's supposed to be a father, <coughs> he he would lo- take care of his children and he would be a, a father, not you know this demanding or this rule kind of forcing um, deity that is being shown. And so I I thought it was I thought it was amazing. Um, I greed um, just. Someone who grew up in the church, uh, like you, um, you constantly kind of like uh, rethink your faith and rethink what you believe in. And that's kind of the, the position I'm in where I believe, I still believe in what I believe in, what I've always believed in, but it's it's gone away with like, you know, religion's issue, church's issue, and mm-hmm. um, people um, just, just. Or the money blind, in the church as well. Like, money and then the just point blind point faith. And, yeah. And, yeah, and just blind faith. And. Um, I see even though it's different religion and different um, and then do mes- mention Christianity, which is big here in the States. But that's I mean, they still have that same mentality of, you know, y- you have to give money for certain things or you have to do all these things to get God's you know, favor or get into heaven or repent. And then things that are just bullshit. Um, yeah. And uh, I thought the way they said it, because you could have easily just done a sermon of just like how wrong these people are mm-hmm. um but they did it in a way where it makes you think it yeah. makes you more it's like hmm that is an interesting point of view that isn't a clever way to kind of trick people into questioning what they're what, what they're doing yeah um the and they went over most religion because actually most there's like every world religion is in it. yeah i mean every, in one every- city i think he went to a church uh mosque a temple all that so yeah it's obviously the predominant one is hindu is the predominant uh religion then then muslim then uh christianity especially in south india uh okay. there's a big because the the uh, portuguese i believe conquered them a while back oh, okay. and they they brought the christianity to that region um and then obviously buddhist as well in the north um and then they actually have a huge atheist population in India as well. Um, so uh, they kind of bring them all in uh, in the film. Obviously, even though they were predominantly focusing on Hindu, because that's the that's the main. Right. That's the- um, did any of that like confuse you? Because obviously, we didn't grow up with a lot of Hindus around us. <laughs> no, no, uh, we didn't. Um, I think we had lo- one kid in our class at at, at our high school. I was friends with and kind of talked to him a little bit, but it didn't confuse me. I, I mean, I kind of knew of that there were big differences, and but I think, I mean, what's what combines them? I mean, they're all different practices, all different faiths, but it's the same thing of like I have to do things to earn the deity, the God, the whoever um, favor or grace. I have to do all these things, and it's it's all in this 
in every religion in every religion that was uh uh said in the movie that yeah. it's it there were different things like i didn't know about bathing yourself in milk or, or bathing putting i didn't know about that so that was an interesting but it's it, it it's not as far as as far out there as it seems it's not different than you know having to go to a priest and, yeah. and repent or you know feel like you have to be do this whole baptism thing to go to heaven kind of thing. It's, yeah. it's the same concept that is across every religion. So I really liked, um, so it wasn't too confusing. It was just stuff I didn't know. One of my favorite scenes was towards the end when they were actually all in the courthouse and it was the whole questioning uh, each. I thought uh, all the actors I thought did really well. And I thought the whole concept of it was, was great. Um, uh, what'd you think about Amir's acting in this one? It was so good. I mean, so like it, it could have been more, over the top he was playing an alien mm -hmm. um and then i do hate my western uh mindset where it's, oh he's an alien he's a buff alien he's only has superpowers <laughs> why did that guy just take his his remote control he could fly right um and it's about an alien talking to a reporter very superman lois lane and so i have this my and i'm a huge superman fan for people who don't know me i named you my are. son clark after clark kent um so I, I was expecting that kind of thing. I'm glad he didn't go that. And so it was very just a character of him just, and especially when he did that flashback where he didn't talk and it was all facial expressions and he has those big eyes and then they did the weird ear thing. And uh, um, yeah, you can almost do that. My dad yeah. can do that without anything. So I hope he watches this. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, big ears then. Um, and so I, uh, I just thought he was really good and really appreciated. Like I liked him in Three Idiots, but this really kind of just showed his range. And mm -hmm. um, he could have easily been more over the top, more alieny. Yeah. But he, he was a realistic version. Yeah, the next ones you should watch um, for his performance. Not really, uh, even though the films are good as well. But I, my favorite performances of him are probably. Let's see. Dongle. Okay. I liked Lagan a lot. Uh, Rang de Basanti is a, is another one that's actually really, really good. Okay. Um, and then I think there's another one that I'm forgetting. Um, and there's a bunch we still haven't seen as well. Uh, but in terms of the, if you want like more of his like really, really good performance, like Dongle's like he transforms his body and it doesn't even look like Amir Khan. Because he becomes like a, a, a wrestler, and he, oh, okay. there's there's actually a video. You don't watch it because maybe we'll react to it since you're an Amir Khan fan now. Um, it's you get to see his transformation from being a normal Amir Khan to Ooh, like a behind the scenes. Yeah, so he kind of filmed himself okay. in his whole transformation. It's, it was really cool. Um, uh, the other actors, uh, Anushka Sharma. Obviously, this is just the main the main love interest. What do you think about her? She's a, I loved her. I she's she a she big actress. Really I loved her a lot. I loved her hair. Mm -hmm. I like short hair. Um, I thought she did really well. I thought because mm -hmm. um, she was more than just a love interest. She was she had her own. Um, and I because I like I liked how it started off. I mean, basically with her and showing because it said six months later after seeing this alien come on Earth and then it, you're following her love story. And so it's almost I always felt like it was a different movie, but um, it was important to show you know, she falls in love, she meets a guy, but because of their different, you know, religious backgrounds and, and cultural backgrounds, uh, they can't be together. Sorry, I just remembered who he was. He was her original love interest. Uh, Sushant, the guy I was talking about in the beginning. Oh, so he was the guy that that she... Uh, I think the original... The, Sarfaz? Yes. Oh, he died? Yeah, he died. Yeah, last year. Yeah, he has he has some really really good films that you could get. He was really get. good too, I, and he was yeah. at a small part. Yeah, and I really small liked part. him. Um, he has he has some really good films I could recommend you. Uh, but he yeah, he, he, it was it was almost like a Heath Ledger situation because he he it was it was a it was a suicide, um, and so it was it was mental health that he was dealing with. Um, but um, yeah, it was it was almost like a Heath Ledger kind of because it was way too soon, and he was like at the peak of his career. Um, and it was, it was extreme, That's extremely so sad. That's so sad. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, it was really good. And I just saw, you know, 10 minutes of his performance. Um, yeah. That's I, I, I all, the acting, all the acting was really good. Um, 
I really liked uh, I really liked her. I really did. I thought she did an excellent job of, you know, not just playing a love interest. She played someone that was who had a showing that background of kind of being um, in that religious family and having those those issues, and then her dealing with that, but then also trying to find that story and be, you know, uh, um, uh, trying to find her, you know, job and stuff. And so uh, I, I really liked her acting. I really like the guy that found him. Um, the, 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 the guy that fa- originally found, not the one that stole his amulet or whatever, his remote control, but the guy that um, found him and kind of took him in um, and took him to that brothel, sort of. Mm. So I, think. Okay. I really liked him. I really I thought he was funny. I thought he was a good um, kind of like uh, over the top. Sorry, the sun just woke up. Don't be. Aw. Say hi. Hey, buddy. Hi, Leland. Yeah, she. Uh, Anushka Sharma is actually a really, really talented, well-known actress, and she's actually um, also really well known for um, acting, but also what she likes to produce. She's a. Okay. She produces some really um, edgy, uh, and she's also a big fan of horror as well. Um, so she has a film called NH10, which is basically her trying to escape from um, murderers. Uh, <laughs> Murder. murderers um, and, and, and then she has some other horror films she's in the film that I told you about in the, in the Three Idiots review it's Dilda Hocknadu um, Dilda Priyanka, what? Dilda Hocknadu uh, it's Priyanka Chopra, Ranveer Singh Anushka Sharma um, Anil Kapoor uh, so many people uh, that one is a big fun family Okay. Rom com. That that one'll leave you feeling good in the end. Um but yeah, she's in that one as well. But yeah, I like, I like her. Yeah, I really liked her. I, I liked her emotional um uh performance as well. Like when she was drunk, um and then she started thinking of her first love and just that that the, the transformation from like just having fun drinking and then being sad. I just she was yeah. really good. <laughs> You know, you, it's okay, buddy. What do you think about the songs? I love the songs. I think I like the songs more in this one. Again, oh, really? kind of, kind of knew what I was getting myself into a little more. I think it's but I similar. Think it it's a similar vibe to Three Idiots for sure. It is, and it's um, but I, I, I liked all the songs. I, I really liked the one where, because uh, I also like the dancing when, uh, he was in that village with, with that with that guy Bailey when. He was mean mugging me the entire time too. Yeah, was, he was. I was getting pissed, and I said dildo in front of him. I hope he repeats that. <laughs> he can't hear you. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. Um, now I just look ridiculous. I embarrassed myself in front of Leland. Um, the the song in that village when he didn't uh, learn the language yet, so he was with that guy that I like. Um, and they had that dance and he was all, I, I like that. That was my favorite song, but I liked all the songs. I liked them. All. Yeah. Um, and do, 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 want to make sure we talked about everything. Yeah. Anything else you want to say about this one? Um, now, no, I really, I loved the, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a sensitive guy. Now I've watched y'all's, you know, uh, reviews and I know how sensitive Rick is and how much of a robot and down inside here you are. Um, I'm, I'm somewhere in the uh, somewhere. In the, I, I didn't sob. Rick sobs a lot. It sounds like. Yeah. Um, Depending on I the film, yeah. Emotional tear eyed, and uh, the scene towards the end where um, uh, they're having that the big um, calling the you know the embassy and trying to get that the 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 first love interest the dude um and when she said you know sorry i had a wrong number and just how that tied in all together you know uh what um tipsy was talking about and then what she was feeling i just it was like just this beautiful moment and if it was an american film she would have left um their dude and went with tipsy and they would have he would have stayed and it would have been this that bow and i'm glad they didn't go that way at all I'm mm-hmm. glad she. I'm glad it was a little um, coincidence. Like, oh, you you read the wrong note, and that's why you haven't talked to me. And you know, kind of like 
Really, that's a little. That's a little silly. But I get it because it was they were already had that wrong number in their heads, um, both of them, um, and so um, of course they wouldn't chase after each other. But I did like um, that they stayed with that love story and had him go somewhere else. And uh, he had all her voices, or all her the the her voice taped, and she heard all that. Uh, that I like that part. That got me. Like <laughs> <laughs> have you right. cried in an indian film yet can't remember yeah no? which one have i cried in an indian film which one yes i mean i cried yeah a love uh lunchbox oh yeah i get that yeah, right away lunchbox um what's your favorite you, you've, had... you've, you've seen about 15 or so i want to say now what's been your favorite uh, it's so 15 I, I keep a log and it's 15 okay yeah What's your favorite and so far? It's getting hard to pick one. Mm-hmm. Um, originally, um, let's uh, say like not, not like the best film, but like your favorite, your personal favorite. Doesn't uh, have to be the best film. I, I go straight to um, Hamlet. Header, yeah. Header. Uh, I thought that was just an excellently excellent yeah. produced film. Yeah. Um, Very well done. Uh, what was a movie that I really liked with Irfan? Because I love Irfan. So besides so, Irfan, who's your favorite actor, though? Besides Irfan, of course. Well, I really... Um, I think now it's starting to be Amir. Amir you like Amir? But I really... Before that, it was um, your favorite guy, because I saw a few of his things. Uh, Nawaz? Nawaz. I was liking him. Just performance-wise. Um, I'm in love with Irfan. As a performer, like well, just his well, acting, would, Louise. Uh, hey, I mean, there's no way you couldn't be. Yeah, I mean, the dude's, the, the dude's amazing. Oh, um, um, so yeah, but there's there's a lot, and the only regional one you've seen is Kumbala G Nights, right? Cool yes, Nights. and I really like that. That was a good one. Yeah, that's that's. Really is that the like, only? You haven't seen Super Deluxe yet, right? No, I saw. What was that? Love? Huh? No, Marriage Story. Uh, no, not Marriage Story. Oh no! You've seen two. Yeah, Great Indian Kitchen. You saw Great which, Indian Kitchen, which is those are both Malayalam films. We yeah. need to have you review a Malayalam film. I don't know why we never had you review either of those. Have uh, I not reviewed any of those? Okay. No, I, never, I would. You, I want to review if I could choose. If I had to say, uh, you don't. Um, Kambali Nights. Yeah, Kambali Nights. Um, that that's that has basically has one of my favorite. Movie has one of my favorite actors in it is the the guy at the end with the mustache. His name is uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Fahat Fahat Fasil. Uh, yes. He's he's an incredible actor. Um, that was that he, was that was a good movie. That was a great. That's a, that's one of my favorite movies, uh, just in general. Uh, but yeah, we need to because if you haven't seen Super Deluxe, I think you'll really enjoy Super Deluxe. Um, that film, it's it's there's a sci-fi element to it almost. Um, not real. It's not a sci. It wouldn't classify it as sci-fi film. And I'm not going to give anything away. Yeah, but, I hope so. Um, it's uh, it's different. It's very different. Uh, and I, I really enjoyed that film. Um, so we'll see what everyone wants you to watch next. Um, yeah. And you've only seen Renvir and you've seen Sh- Renvir in one film. You've seen Shahid in one film, I want to say. Shahid is Heather. Renvir is... I guess this is just one. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I guess it was just one film with... And you've never <laughs> seen anything with Shah Rukh Khan. Say that again. You, you you've cannot. never seen anything with Shah Rukh Khan. No. Uh, <laughs> he is probably the biggest star in the world. Um, I don't think I have seen anything with him. No, I don't think you have either. But I think uh, it, it takes a little bit of getting used to Bollywood before you get into... Yeah, because I don't think... I, I think I, this is the second... Would you count this as a Bollywood movie too, PK? So this is the third. Three Idiots, I feel, is more of a Bollywood Bollywood film. Um, this is uh, a little more. Amir Khan has the reins uh, in this okay. one, and, and he. And he, then Ram Leela was very, which I very, loved. Ram Leela. Ram Leela, that was big Bollywood uh, drama. Like, more like I'm talking Bollywood's like more like campy almost at some point. Oh, okay. Well, like yeah, what yeah, yeah. what was, you Yeah, Ram Lila wasn't too campy. There was No. There's it's it's basically when I say Bollywood's what people normally think of Bollywood like in, from okay. an American perspective. Big yeah. numbers, over the top, uh, which is not really what Indian cinema is, but that's what people assume it is. And so 
Um, that's uh, whenever I reference it, but we need to have you. <laughs> you stop it. You stop it. You stop it. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>